then um, they will get in the habit of doing that. So you just need to make sure you like shove that as much as you can in there in the okay. baby's mouth. And um, different positions help with that. I had what's what's called a, a breast friend. It was it's a pillow. That's right. We're on live. We're gonna get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Uh, give give the, the 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 audience some tips on how they how how you were able to breast uh, feed your kids. Yeah, there are a lot of them that don't know how to do that. So go ahead. Well, don't let anybody tell you that you can't breastfeed. Um, a lot of times, you might need some support in the beginning. When it like when I gave birth to my daughter, I um, was induced, so I. Um, the medicine that they gave me to for the inducing um, of the contractions and stuff mm. they believe affected the baby in that she wasn't sucking very well mm. so the first few days um she wasn't latching on and i had that leilichili woman in my house and she was we had practiced how to hold the baby so it can get a good suction we talked about nipple care. We talked about all kinds of stuff, but she was in my bedroom when I brought the baby home and she was uh, giving me tips on, on you know, hold the ba baby's head this way. So, so I tried, the first thing I tried was to lay on my side and have the baby um, nursed that way. Mm -hmm. And um, once the baby got the idea of sucking which we the first few days we did have to use what's called a nipple shield which helps the baby latch on easier um once a baby starts to learn where the nipple is which is pretty quick they will latch on pretty well and you just have to make sure that the nipple is deep like you don't want them on the tip of the nipple because that will really damage the nipple and um, they will get in the habit of doing that. So you just need to make sure you like shove that as much as you can in there in the okay. baby's mouth. And um, different positions help with that. I had what's what's called a, a breast friend. It was it's a pillow okay. that that had like a strap that wrapped around your waist. And so it was almost like a tray, a soft pillow tray. It was a firm pillow. Um, wrapped around your body right below your breast and so I I didn't that way I could have my hands really free um, and so I had one hand around the back of the baby's um, back he, the baby was on his side facing my like the one breast breast and um, so I had the, my my like let's say my the baby was on um, facing my right breast so I had the left hand along the back of the baby's back and then I would hold his head or her head um, behind their head and then I used the other hand to get my breast and put the breast in the baby's mouth and the baby is looking for that that mouth I mean that breast mm -hmm. sometimes you can squeeze out a little bit of milk and it'll help them get there but mm -hmm. they're not I mean they are programmed to survive and they want they know that milk and they're gonna they're gonna be looking for it so the only thing you really need to do is make sure that they don't latch on at the tip of the nipple. And you mentioned it becomes a, a, pretty easy. You, you mentioned a nipple shield. Tell the audience what that is. So a nipple shield is sometimes if your nipples aren't um, protruding enough, like you know, there's all different kind of nipples, right? Mm -hmm. um, some people have nipples that are really long and those are easier to get into the baby's mouth but those are the ones that have the problems where the, the baby just wants to lash on to the nipple um but then there's there's sometimes like in my case the baby um wouldn't latch on to my to my nipple my nipples are not the big ones <laughs> um so my breasts are big but my nipples are not not the big size um and so this is a it's a it's like a rubber 
let's imagine like a rubber nipple um, and the base of the nipple is um, like flat and the back part is open is open so it's almost like like you know the nipple on a bottle right mm -hmm. um, so but the nipple is really longer than the, than the no let's see I'll sh there's different types of bottles um, mm -hmm. so the the bottles that have the nipples that are long okay Right. Let's just say you pull that rubber thing off the bottle. That's right. what a nipple shield looks oh, like. Oh, I got you. Except it's flatter, and the and the and the flat part instead of it being on a bottle, it's laid over the mother's nipple. So I got you. And yeah. Really so yeah. So the baby will suck on the the big nipple, and um, and then and then hopefully it will make the the mama's nipple, um, be sucked up in there so it makes it come out more and makes it um more when when you have that suction it makes it um like swollen oh okay and it, and it doesn't waste out on like all over the, the, the no breast. because no because they're sucking it they're drinking right. it right right okay and then you can take it off and then and then they'll, they'll um they'll have a better suction on that 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 nipple great tips great tips